Hi guys, so welcome back to this channel. Um, I wasn't supposed to make this video, but I just wanted to caution people on the new stock because it is a downtrending stock and uh, many retail are actually trapped in it. So in the short term, I do expect a rebound, but in the long term, it is definitely a downtrending stock. So when the stock is downtrending, you never add, you never buy, and ideally, you are not holding. So let's look at the daily time frame. You can see that it had a very good uptrend and followed by a downtrend. So that's where all the bulls come in here. And then thinking that there's a rebound. Yes, on a downtrending stock, there will, there will always be rebounds. But on rebounds, is where you actually take your profit or you you uh, as a chance to get out if your position is uh, price is too high. So if you do ask me, it looks like we will be rebounding soon, but it will just be a very short-term rebound. So I do have three support levels for new. First one will be $21, which is at current levels. You see that there is a small gap here. That will be the first support level. Second support level looks like about $16, $15 at about the previous support level here. And the last target would be $8. It may seem very bearish, but I have my own reasons. Okay, next one will be, um, let's look at the MACD and the RSI. Why do I expect a short-term rebound soon? Very simply, you see there's a, a, these are the rebound levels here, 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 here. So you can see that the RSI has in, check, in fact bottom here at oversold um, uh, positions here. And now we are here. So I do expect a short-term rebound, maybe just about $1 to $2 rebound. And then followed by a deeper correction. Or you can say a downtrend. Looking at the MACD, it's not healthy at all. You can see that the blue line has already cut below the orange line. So we can expect for the downside. Unless we manage to cross above the orange line again and sustain above it. Let's look at the weekly charts. You can see that the weekly charts is, is not looking very healthy at all. The MACD has downtrend for a very long period of time. It lost its momentum here when the blue line cut below the orange line. And it never failed to sustain, a, sustain above it once again. And it will be downtrending. And look at the RSI is really at 30, which is as low as it was in somewhere in 2019 and 2020. Another thing, if you were to ask me, is that there is in fact one more support level that we may be looking at it. And that is, let's go back to the daily time frame. And that will be somewhere between $18 using the Fibonacci. So if you were to ask me, where exactly would the support be? And then we can just look at the Fibonacci. Uh, okay. So at the bottom here is about $3. All the way to the peak is at about $67. So you can see that there is a, the 38.2% is at 27, uh, 70, 75 around there. That's where we saw some support coming in. We also saw some support at $35 where we rebounded at least 50%. And the next support will be at about $18.50, which is somewhere between $21 and uh, my next support level at about $15. So this is a potential um, rebound, reversal, hard to say. But my target will still be $8 with $21 and $15 as potential supports. So that's all I have for this video. It's a short one because I just wanted to caution people about this stock and it's a downtrending stock. So don't, don't get trapped unless there are signs of accumulation. That's where the big players are stepping in. Then there's a possibility of you adding positions. If not, it is better not to buy, not to add. And if you are ideally, you shouldn't be holding as well because it's a downtrending stock. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you if you have any other uh, stocks to want me, that you guys want me to analyze, feel free to comment down the uh, comment section down below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.